Got it, the lever, runners sent on their way from the 2000 meter mark and Pure Logic's one of the trailers early on and being niggled out just to stay in touch. Roy had enough, Warfarers with the blinkers on the outside back second. Third place belongs to Liquid Rainbow and Rockefeller. And then comes One Man Show. They're not sticking around. Roy had enough's quite keen and leads it. It's uh, just running off that inside running rail is Roy had enough. They are followed further back by One Man Show. That's in the pink. And then comes St. Mark and Chrome Blue. And towards the back of the field is Pure Logic. It's about eight lengths off the leader. 1400 to go, Roy Had Enough is the leader, Warfare is second, Rockefeller's out the rail back in third, then Liquid Rainbow, one man show, the gang a nice clip up front, further back is Chrome Blue, along the inside of that one is St. Marco, one man show is just in front of that and Pure Logic's the trailer, nine or ten lengths off the lead. 1,000 meters to travel, Roy had enough leads at Warfare is in the yellow, Rockefeller's out the rail third, then Liquid Rainbow, one man showing the pink back in fifth position, seven lengths to track down, then Chrome Blue St. Mark and Pure Logic's about a dozen lengths off the leader, as Roy had enough continues to lead by two. Warfarer, then Rockefeller, Liquid Rainbow's on the outside, one man showing the pink Scott seven to track down, St. Marco, Chrome Blue, Pure Logic. Top of the lane, Roy had enough by two, Warfarer second, Liquid Rainbow, one man show now gets the wake up call, down the inside, Rockefeller, Roy had enough still leads it, one man show, Warfarer on the outside, Liquid Rainbow, Roy had enough still finds though, and it's Roy had enough, one man show, St. Marco's running on, Roy had enough is still in front, Liquid Rainbow, one man show, St. Marco needs some running room, Roy had enough is still holding on from one man show they hit the line one man show got him one man show won it roy had enough ran second and we'll go back to that third placing A cracking run from Roy had enough because he was strong and he raced awkwardly. He gets tagged on the line. Another one for Dean Canamea and Anthony Del Pege. And the toad favourite at 260 will just win it. Number two, one man show. So one man show will get up close to the line and ends up winning it by a short head. Number two wins it. Second to Roy Had Enough, that is number seven. St. Marco will take third. Liquid Rainbow is fourth, then Pure Logic. Further back, Warfarer. And then came Chrome Blue. Toad favourite, the winner at 260, winning it in the last jump. So as we look at the head-on, Roy Had Enough is still the leader. And the stick is in the right hand. And immediately behind it is the winner who comes around. And that is One Man Show. And Roy Had Enough starts to drift. One Man Show is uh, to go towards the outside. And they get close together. And you'll see it's a difficult ride for Muzi Yeti. But goes to number two, One Man Show. Until the running of the eighth and last, back to the studio. Anthony Del Pesh having a red letter afternoon. He rises to the occasion and Julius is having the yodel of the afternoon. Julius is having an absolutely scintillating afternoon. Yes, I'm standing next to him. He nearly blew my eardrum. <laughs> but it's nice to have that excitement on course when the stable's hot. You've produced well done. No, it is good, uh, very good for the yard and for racing. Um, just, yeah, this little horse, he's such a hard working, he tries, you know, um, he hasn't got the best of action when he trots, but like Anthony said to him, you just got to ignore that, um, that's just him. And, you know, he really tries and he's really done well since coming to Durban from Cape Town. Um, just, yeah, big well done to all the owners, to everyone involved, well done. Super. Thanks, Sheldon. Well done to Barbara, doing an awesome job for the Dean Canamea stable and Anthony Del Pesh riding at the top of his game. When you're hot, you're hot, things work out for you. Roy had enough, very difficult ride. He was free-flowing in the early stages and we mentioned tactics could play a part here. Now looking at the race, I thought maybe St. Marco yourself might press forward, but Roy had enough, you know about him. Yeah, I was actually in two mind which one to ride. 
and obviously Dean gives me all the rides so I have to use my loyalty sometimes. <laughs> Got to catch your breath there because you had to really work for victory. You were off the speed and you were waiting to get into the shake-up. Yeah, my horse didn't want to go through on his inside and every time I asked him to go in, he was like always saying, no, I'm not. So, and Muzi's horse was hanging out when I decided to go on his outside. But he's gutsy, this horse, I mean, he's done so well. He's got so much problems, but Barbara's done a great job. Today he was so sound, he went down so well. And for, to say that he's won three in a row is unbelievable. So it just shows you sometimes the, the heart is more important than the ability of the horse. Well, that's great when the heart takes over from the legs, but you've had to produce, so well done to you this afternoon. Yeah, it's been a fantastic uh, day of racing, and you know, things are all falling into places. And it's nice when you're riding and you find that you can't do anything wrong. So, yeah, very well done to my sponsor, Vilgebos Drift and Maris Fontaine. They bred this one too, so very well done to you. Anthony Del Pesh, put your hands together. Another top class performance from the saddle. Getting up on the post, number two, one man show. Dean Canemayer, Anthony Del Pesh, and of course, Julius stealing the show.